welcome to Tooltech Geek. At the time of this recording, there is a like a viral sensation about uh, these knives. Um, basically, uh, in social media like in Reddit and even in some YouTube channels, people are really excited about this uh, Walmart knife that it has a G2 steel and some locking mechanisms that are usually very expensive but this is only ten dollars so it's selling out online and even in stores but i went to my local walmart and they had a few available so i'm going to take a look at this first of all i was very uh, interested in the packaging uh, they uh, they didn't make a uh, the entire uh, knife in, in the package only uh, this part so I suppose this will reduce the cost of the package and I guess they are confident that if this part is exposed it will not get damage in the uh, in shipping and another thing is this uh, this package has some labels here so I don't know what uh, way they are a label on top of that let's see if I can peel it off uh, are they covering something or is just I don't know it's just like a number one there. I don't know why they would put a sticker on a thing. Doesn't seem like there's anything behind it. Just uh have a number one sticker. No idea what it's for. This is just an anti-theft. So this is sold under a, a locked uh, glass uh, cabinet. And you have to get an employee to unlock it for you. It's only $10. But very popular. It went viral. And, uh, let's see what it looks like. Why are all the nice people so crazy about it? So this is pocket clip. It has a lot of space between here, so that will give you a larger handle and still be very lightweight. That's something uh, people have been mentioning. It's, it's not a heavy knife. 81 grams and what the ounce is here two point eight six ounces so not a heavy knife not a very heavy knife so it's nice for EDC looks all right apparently this is very similar to the bench made bug out so people have been making jokes and uh, calling it uh, kind of some made up names on reddit and apparently it, it has uh, ball bearings and the d2 uh, steel which is a high carbon steel which is highly regarded as not a uh, very cheap steel so this is what people is going crazy about. I like that it's kind of lightweight. And it has a somewhat sophisticated look. Apparently the, the steel remains sharp even after using quite a bit. According to some reports, space for a yard. Some good ergonomics. Well, I really don't like to spend a lot of money on knives, but because this was so cheap, I'm like sure, and because it was selling out, so it has a, a sort of scarcity uh, or the illusion of scarcity effect that makes you 
wanted more if it's hard to find so this is kind of what happened with the Gordon multi-tool in Harbor Freight which was a pretty good quality and cheap and people were buying it um, everywhere and it was hard to find so this is kind of same thing maybe this will come and go as a fad who knows but in a way this is showing the how this market is evolving quickly um, some products similar to more expensive ones now they can be made cheap same is happening with the multi-tools um, the, the Gordon is an example which is a clone of a Leatherman multi-tool now we have this knife that the knife uh, experts or aficionados very excited about I think that's telling us that um, manufacturing and supply chains are evolving really fast in part that can be by automation or other things but it's reaches a point where shipping starts to become the big uh, cost the logistics so Walmart has these type of logistics that are hard to beat so that's why they can do this type of thing a small company could not compete with such a um, supply chain ways to ship stuff uh, cheap fast so will this be a, a classic I don't know we we'll have to see but it really tells you how fast the market is moving and how um, technology is changing things um, it's just plastic and possibly a good steel and complex mechanisms this is similar to a famous uh, brand and they did it so this is my impression of this even if you're not into knife this may get into it because it's so cheap and supposedly so good people have been buying multiples of this if you have somebody that likes knives maybe if you don't have this maybe get them one I don't know could be a hype or not in any case I'll try it out use it and see if it's as good as they say thank you for watching